Hello all my lovely children out there. A warm morning to everyone. I hope you all are happy and fine. Dear students, um, uh, I hope you all have remembered what we did in our last class. So in our previous class, we have uh, completed module 7 from our English workbook. Today in this class, we are going to start a new lesson that is lesson 11, the swift runner from our English textbook. So what is the objective of today's class? The objective of today's class is to enable the students to read with correct pronunciation. So today we are going to do, here I am going to do the reading of the text and please listen to me carefully and try to understand it, okay? So that you can read it and pronounce the words properly with correct pronunciation. So here the, the total of the story is the swift runner. Now what is the meaning of swift my dear students? Swift it denotes that to become what? To run very fast, okay? To run very fast, that is the meaning of swift. And what is a runner? Runner means what? Runner means those who runs, who runs very fast, who takes a competition, who in the competition, who runs very fast, that is called a runner. The swift runner means a runner who is very fast in running. So in this lesson, we are going to read about a deer, a deer, especially it is about a race competition, about a race where the deer win and the further things we are going to learn. All right. So before that, uh, uh, some questions I want to discuss with you. The first question, have you ever participated in a race? If yes, where and when? So likewise, dear students, generally in our school, you have a different kind of a race, competitions and games, is not it? Uh, in our sports day, we used to, what happened? We used to take competition. We take part in different kind of competitions. So we take participates uh, in this course competitions. So we, and whenever we win, we feel so good. Even if we get the third prize also, then also we feel very good. All right. So, dear students, uh, so we all have uh, at least for the one time also taken participated and we have participated in any kind of race. Now, what qualities do you think it should be in a runner? What do you think? What kind of qualities should be there in a runner? Think. Yes. So, the runners, uh, it, they should have the qualities of what? They should have strong legs strong body they should have a proper diet and everything all right so everything together will make that particular person or particular animal a perfect runner all right so here i'm going to do the reading of the text Please listen to me carefully the swift runner once upon a time the animals planned a race the prize for the fastest runner was a pair of antlers each animal was to carry the antlers on its head while running the race, the animal that won would keep the antlers. A path through the woods was chosen for the race. There were many bushes along the way. All the animals gathered at the starting point. They chose the bear to be the judge. It was decided that the rabbit and the deer alone should try for the prize. They are the best runners and match each other, agreed the other animals. The rabbit was given the first chance. However, he said, first, I would like to look at the ground where I have to run. So the rabbit disappeared into the woods. He did not return for a long time. The fox was sent to look for him. The rabbit had forgotten all about the race. The fox found the rabbit busily munching on fresh carrots. The fox went back and told the others what the rabbit was doing. Soon the rabbit returned. He was ready to put on the antlers and begin the race. Oh no, said the bear, you cannot enter the race. You are too fond of munching carrots. You may keep on eating. So the rabbit was not allowed to run the race. The fox placed the antlers upon the head of the deer and said, It is now your it is now upon the head your turn to try to win the race. The animals gave three loud cheers. The deer ran swiftly along the path. He carried the antlers so well that they were not caught in the bushes even once. So here 
we have read about a deer and there was a competition where what we have learned we have learned about a race a competition of race where a rabbit and a deer were decided to take part in that particular competition dear students i will be doing the explanation of this particular lesson in my last class now let us discuss the new words that is the hard words mentioned in this chapter what is the first new word the first new word is antlers a n t l e r s antlers okay so what is that antlers here i'm going to write the first new word the first new word is antlers now antlers means horn you can see the deer they have beautiful horn on their head yes different different uh, shapes of it is of different kind of shapes so it is called as the antlers horn and the next one is woods now what is the meaning of woods woods means it's like a small jungle a small forest land covered with land covered with growing trees smaller than a forest all right Next one is gather number three gather G A T H E R E D gathered. So what is the meaning of gather? That is to came together. Okay, together, gather. Okay. Next one is judge. J U D G E judge. Now what is the meaning of judge? The person who decides the winner, that means who is the judge, who generally decides the particular winner of any kind of competition, he is called as the judge. Next one is disappear, D, D I S D I S A P P E A R E D disappeared. Now, what is this disappear? Disappeared means went out of sight, could not be seen anymore. That means a person has is almost lost from our eyes. He has disappeared. So as a result, we are not able to see that person disappear. The next one is munching. M U N C H I N G munching. M U N C H I N G munching now what is the meaning of munching munching means eating something noisily that means when we eat something a noise comes for example if you take a biscuit if you take some a mixture some chana some kind of um, uh, noise comes out from our mouth yes krum krum like this is not it so different kind of sounds are there i have just given you an example only uh, so this kind of sound is called as munching next word is fond fond means strong liking next word is fond Fawn means strong liking. You like something very strongly that is called fawn. The next is swiftly, as I already mentioned to you. Swiftly. So swiftly means very, very fast. To swift, very fast in running. Swiftly. And lastly, it is declare. D E C L A R E D. Declare. Now, what is this declare? Declare means announce, to announce something that is called declared. Now, dear students, I hope you have understood uh, all the new words and their meanings. So, in my next class, I will, I'm going to do the explanation of this particular text and also I'm going to discuss the new words once again. So, the, what we have done in today's class, we have done, discussed the objective of today's class and we have done the reading of the text with correct pronunciation. So, I request everyone to please go through the lesson and read it for twice and thrice and practice at home. That is all for today. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.